Hey, Justin Frank, good morning to two of you. And you know, this is a problem that all surfers have likely dealt with. If they're traveling with their surfboards, you pay the extra fee to get your boards inside the airplane, and then the items either get broken or, what's worse, what ended up happening to pro surfer Alex Gray right here. He recently returned home from a surfing trip in Fiji. He had a stopover in Honolulu. He goes to LAX to pick up his board bag, and as soon as he walked up to baggage claim, he noticed something was immediately wrong, so he picked out his smartphone. He started recording. Here, oh, this one's completely broken in half. This was April 7th, the airport LAX, but no one knows if the boards were damaged here in Los Angeles or where that flight originated from, which is Honolulu. Gray told us he packed five boards into his bag, each board costing about $800. He was flying American Airlines, so we reached out to the airline. They say their policy is to charge $150 for an extra bag. It's up to $200 for any oversized bags, but Gray say he, he was charged $150 only to have all but one of his boards completely broken, and he thinks this may have been done intentionally. Sure, I've had, you know, what I would call a fixable ding, where you could tell something was accidentally dropped on it, and I'm all for accidents and mistakes. We make them as humans in life. But you just look at this, and this sure looks deliberate to me. Um, I've never experienced it this bad before. Gray says the boards were clearly taken out of his bag and then repacked. Four out of the five boards are completely destroyed. He says that the airline instructed him to fill out a claim form for the amount of damages, which is currently at $4,500. He's hoping to get a refund, but he also wants to change the way that airlines charge surfers and how they treat their equipment. We, the surfing community, would love to see the bag policy just change. And I don't think that we should be paying for surfboards, number one. And I'd love to, again, know why these have a price on them, yet other sporting equipment doesn't. Um, so I think this has been happening for years. And finally, it's happened to someone like me with a platform, with an amazing following on Instagram. And people are crying out because it happens to them time and time again. And a word that keeps coming up is paranoia. It's what are, what's going to happen to my boards once I hand them off? And even before then, how much are they going to charge me for the boards before I even get on the plane? Um, so, you know, I guess if anything, we have awareness being brought up. I've been reaching out to American Airlines all morning long. I have not received a message back or a call back. But as soon as we receive an update, we'll pass the information right along.